Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to retrieve details from a hazy image in Lightroom. Um, now this is an image that I've edited before in Photoshop and showed you um, a couple steps to retrieve it there, um, but for users who don't have Photoshop or who want to be able to do this quickly in Lightroom along with their other processing, um, I thought I'd show you how to do it in here too. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is come over here to our basic panel. And if yours is already open, great. If not, just click that little arrow and it'll pop out. Um, so the trick with hazy images is that usually it's you've gotten too much sun in your lens and the image has gotten a little bit overblown. Um, so the first thing that we're going to adjust is our exposure. And we're just going to drop this down a little bit. Um, don't be scared at first. It is going to look kind of muddy um, and just a little off. But we're going to bring this back. So. Um, once you've dropped your exposure a bit here, I had to drop it um, quite a bit, a little over a full stop. Um, so once we do that, I'm going to move on to the blacks. Now um, this is going to add some contrast in the image, but I want you to watch the color um, and you'll kind of see that it increases some colors that you might not want. Um, accentuated, it's very warm, a little bit too green, um, but I do need these this depth like by by dragging these blacks down. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to correct with the temperature or with the tint. Um, now this will vary based on your image that you're working on. Um, and this one, I think it's mostly temperature is just slightly too warm, which is accentuating those green tones. Um, so I'm going to drop that a bit. But as you'll see up here, you can see a little bit of banding. Um, I'm not exactly sure um, why that happens, except that that light was warm and it's just causing some clipping there. Um, so, I mean, if that bothers you, you can leave it warm and fix it a different way. Um, in this case, it didn't bother me too much, and I could always um, adjust this later, and I would probably apply a matte effect over this image anyway that would probably fill those in. Uh, but again, I just wanted to mention it so that you can watch for things like that. If that's something that you don't want to see in your photos, um, you can just leave it a little bit too warm, and you can always adjust um, another way later. So, got a little bit off topic there, but there's that. You can um, adjust this as much or as little as you want, um, and then we will move on. You can also do the tint if you want. If you notice a little bit too much green and you want to add a little bit of magenta tone in there, you can do that as well. Um, but again, just watch out not to do too much or you're just going to add color casts in the opposite direction. Um, so once we're done with that, I'm going to increase the whites. Um, we did the blacks to add some depth, but the image is still a little bit uh, muddy, so it's we're going to want to brighten it up just a tiny bit. So by dragging the whites, um, actually that also helps that banding up there from wherever the light is coming in. So I fixed it up a little bit. Um, so by increasing the whites there, you're brightening her up, and she doesn't look so lost in the frame. Um, you can bright, you can go, I mean, as high as you wanted here with this. I'm going to try not to go too crazy. I still want there to be some detail in here. So I think I'll go right there. That looks pretty good to me. Um, and now if you want to check your progress so far, you can click this little button right here, and you can kind of see your before and after. And we've, you know, really brought out the detail in the background, and especially in our subject. So we are on the right track. Now, if you wanted to, you could be done with this. This is a um, pretty solid image, nice little baby bump, really cool flare back here. You could be done. Um, I'm actually going to adjust the color a little bit, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to close my basic panel for a second. We're finished with that one. And I'm going to click this one down here, HSL Color B&W. Um, just open that one up. And mine is set to color. So if you see something else like this or that, you're going to want to hit the color one. And then we will play around in here. Um, now with these, it's kind of, you just, unless you've got a really good eye when it comes to color cast, I would just play around with these uh, sliders and see what you think of the results. Um, usually the skin tones aren't red. They're, they're kind of like an orange. They're between yellow and red. So I'm going to adjust this slider first. Um, and so we don't have anything crazy happen, like too, you know, saturated of skin. I'm just going to adjust the luminance slider. And this one adjusts the brightness of the, whatever color you have selected. So in this case, it's orange. Um, and I'm going to raise the luminance up here. And as you can see, this kind of brightens her skin a little. Um, so you could, if you like that look, you could do that. Um, I'm going to leave it that way. Um, I like it a little bit brighter like that. So now, if you wanted, you can come down and you can have, um, adjust the other colors in the photo. And this one, the one I really wanted to adjust was the green here in the grass. Um, now, naturally, when the sun is shining on the grass, it's going to look pretty neon. Um, 
but in this photo that's kind of where your eye goes it's just that super green grass so I'm gonna adjust that a little bit um, with this green panel so I'm going to drag the hue slider from where it's currently set to and drag it over towards the blue side a little bit this is just gonna give the grass a little bit um, more of like an emerald color and then since it's still pretty bright you can lower the luminance here to darken it a little bit and you can also bring the saturation down um, now this definitely depends on the photo that you're working on and, and also whatever you like um, but that would be a start there and you can turn this panel all and off on and off sorry by hitting this little button right here so you can see your progress and what changed um, now sometimes adjusting these color sliders it's going to adjust more than what you were actually focusing on so you might want to turn this on and off a little bit just to see um, what's changed here you can see there's some additional coloring and shadowing on her um, top so if you turn this on and off you can kind of see that it's darkened some of that where I might not want it uh, might, might not have wanted it to be darkened so if you want you can come down a little lower and you can try to find what exact color the top is and adjust that as well so um, you can play with these sliders as well and just brighten up a little if you don't want too much shadowing in there it's kind of a give and take you want to fix what you want fixed but you don't want to mess up anything else either so it's just kind of finding a happy medium um, and again, turn this little tab on and off as much as you want to kind of see the changes you've made and, and um, you know, eyeball the whole photo and make sure that you didn't mess anything up. So um, again, here with the aqua, you can adjust the saturation and bring that up a little bit if you wanted to, to mess with the color of her top. Um, you might even try blue and see if that would do it. Drag it all the way over and see. Um, it's not doing too much that I can see, but usually when you do the lumen okay there you go well that might help a little if by bringing this up as you can see it kind of increases the um, the highlights on the top and then that kind of balances out the shadows so I don't think that looks too bad so um, there is that now once you finish this color again turn it on and off just to make sure you're super satisfied with what you've done um, and then you can close this panel as well and go back to your basic panel and tweak anything that might have gotten messed up um, or anything that you want to keep going with. If you wanted to add some more blacks in here, um, reduce them a little bit, add some more whites, brighten up even more, um, that's definitely up to you. You could even, wherever our blacks were before, somewhere in here, um, you can come and just add some contrast instead and see if you like that. Um, with contrast, sometimes the saturation gets boosted a little, so you're welcome to come in here and lower the saturation a tiny bit as well. Um, just be careful with that. You don't want her to look. Um, like you applied like a black and white filter uh, or something over it but um, you can play with with any of these sliders in here and kind of see so that was a really long-winded way of telling you how to recover those details but I hope you learned some new tricks from Lightroom um, and maybe learned a couple that you already knew but now you know how to utilize them in a new way so um, also with um, hazy backlit images sometimes the they can look a little soft so if you wanted to fix that you can adjust the clarity slider as well and boost that a little bit and it kind of brings those details out um, again you kind of want to watch with skin sometimes it can add um, a not so flattering effect on the skin but you can kind of take a peek at it as you go and just don't slide it too much if it if it's messing up the skin so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial again if you want to see your progress you can hit this little button right here and see your before and after <clears throat> you can even click the button a couple more times and kind of see the the balance against um, one side of the image opposed to the other so and there you go and if you want to go back just hit this little button right here so I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much. Have a great day.